Hello everyone, welcome back to PAPD. In this video, we are going to learn how to set a webhook inside Jira software. So Jira, as you know, is an amazing project, task and issue management software with the help of which we can manage the issues which are generated. It is generally used for the softwares. All right. Now here I'm going to show you step by step that how we can set up a connection between Jira software and PAPD Connect in order to transfer the data from Jira towards any other application automatically. So for that, we are going to use webhook. Webhook acts as a bridge for setting up connections between different applications and for transferring the data from one application towards another on the happening of a specific event. So whenever a specific event happens inside Jira, according to our choice, it is going to be transferred to another application through webhook. Before moving forward towards setting up the webhook inside Jira, here on my screen you can see that there are two windows, trigger and actions. Now what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or we can see these are the building blocks of our entire automation. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many actions as we want. Now, let's suppose here our objective is that as soon as a new issue will be created inside Jira, then we want to capture the response and we want to send that issue towards our Google Chat space to our team members. So we are going to add Jira in our trigger and Google Chat in our action. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means when the issue is created in Jira, then only the details are sent to our team members on Google Chat, otherwise no. So after understanding this concept, let's start setting up the connection. So first of all, we have to go towards our trigger step. Here our trigger application will be Jira. So let's select that Jira software. Now we have to select the trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So here we have configured webhooks as our trigger event. So when we are going to configure the webhook inside Jira, we are going to receive the response of the events of the events which we are going to select. All right, so here as we have done that, we can see that here a webhook URL is received along with some instructions. We have to follow these instructions step by step very carefully to set up the connection. And we have to use the webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for transferring the data from Jira software towards public connect whenever the specific event happens. So here I'm going to simply copy this URL. Then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So first of all, we have to log into our Zira account and here we have to go towards the settings section. So this is my account and here's my board which I have created. That means the project with the name as connect app. Now after coming on my project, we have to go towards settings section. Under settings, we'll see the option of system. So let's select that. Under settings, when we'll scroll down from the left side, here is the option of webhook. So we have to go towards webhook option. And now here we have to click on create a webhook button to add a new webhook over here. First of all, we have to provide a name to our webhook. So, so for whichever reason you are creating your webhook setup, you can give the name according to that. Here I'm going to give the name as let's say new bug issue. Okay, now after giving the name here, I'm going to go towards the status. So it will be enabled. We have to enable the status of our webhook. Now in the URL field, we have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect and we have to move forward. If you want, you can also provide a specific description to your webhook according to your choice. But it is not a mandatory field, so I'm going to ignore this field for now. Now here from these events, we have to select the specific event on the happening of which we want the response. I want that whenever the issue will be created, then the response should be captured. And if you want that only a specific issue should be received over here as the response in public connect, for that you have to use this syntax which is given. So this is the syntax which we have to copy. It contains the project name and the issue type. So we will simply copy that. We will move back towards Jira and here we will paste the syntax which we have copied. Now in the place of project, you have to enter the name of your project in your account and in the issue type, you have to select the specific issue on the happening of which you want to capture the response. Now I'm going to go towards my project first of all. You can see that this is my project connect app. So in the place of motor head, I'm going to remove it from, from here and after using inverted commas, I'm going to select the name of my project that is connect app. So I've selected that. We have selected our project and the next is issue type. So the issue type will be bug only. So I'm going to simply enter bug over here and I've selected bug from the response. So you can see that my syntax is ready. Project will be connect app and issue type will be bug. So whenever a new issue will be created in my project and it will be a bug issue, then I am going to receive the response. After selecting the event and providing the syntax over here, according to your choice, you have to simply click on create. 
As we have done that, we can see that our web book, which is named as New Bug Issue, is created successfully. So now we'll go back towards Babli Connect. It is showing waiting for web book response. This means that now we have to do a test submission. And how we are going to do that? By creating a new issue according to our requirements, which we have selected in Jira software so that the response could be captured. So once again, I'm going to go back towards Jira. We will go towards our project here. I'm going to select my project. And after coming over here on my project, I'm going to create a new issue. So we'll click on create button. Here we have the project name, which is already selected. Now the issue type is bug over here. We have to select the status of our issue that will be to do in which list you want to create this issue. So here the status of my issue will be to do. Now the next is the summary. So you have to provide the title of the issue. So I'm going to give the title, let's say as search functionality returns incorrect results so because i am creating a bug issue and i've selected bug as the specific issue type that only when the bug issue will be created then i want to receive the response so this is a sample bug issue which i have given search functionality returns incorrect results now that means the search function is not working correct now we are going to provide the description as well here's the description when users perform a search using the site search bar the results displayed are not relevant to the search query this issue seems to be intermittent and affects various search terms across different section of the website. Let's suppose the software of our organization is not working properly and it is facing some search bar related issues. So I have given the summary that means the title as well as the description. Now I'm going to provide an assignee over here. I'm going to assign this issue to the admin and here I'm going to select the label that is bug. Here's the reporter I've selected. If you want you can also provide some attachments such as screenshots or videos over here. And now if you want you can also link this issue with a specific existing issue but I'm going to ignore these fields and I'm going to click on create and here we can see that the issue is created successfully this is our issue search functionality returns incorrect results and the and the issue type is bug over here the project name is also given so let's go and check whether we have received the response and yes here we have immediately captured the response in Paply connect here in the response we have received all the details this is the webhook event jira issue created that we have selected issue created as our event the time zone in which we have received the response here's the display name of the assignee here's the display name this is the account type when we'll scroll down here's the timestamp that means the date and time at which the response is received this is the issue key here when we'll scroll down these are the details related to the issue so this is the summary that is the title of the issue we have also received the description this means that our connection is absolutely successful so now once we have set up this connection as soon as a new issue will be created in jira in a specific project and with a specific issue type then immediately the response will be captured in the same manner you can set up this connection for for any of the event which you want to select if you are selecting issue created then you can add the syntax over there in order to receive the response of specific issues and specific project okay but if you want to receive the response of each and every issue which is created then you can also ignore the syntax over there okay now once you will set up this connection you can forward this data which we have received from Jira software to any other application automatically I hope now these steps are clear to you I hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations